Hi, this is Rob Kaur, and I'm showing off my film Once and Ever Again. It's hopefully going to be finished by this January, 2010. And I wanted to show a little bit of how I put together a shot from animatic to completed shot. Uh, and as you will see on the screen right now, um, is a rough illustration, which is the storyboard animatic. And I'll play it for you. And as you'll see, the animation's kind of rough and simple. Uh, it's just to get across the idea of the shot that I want to show. And let me show you the next phase. This is where I animated it, and actually the illustration is just a rough animation. Let me play that for you now. So as you'll see, it's a little bit more clean a little bit more polished and it gets across the idea of this water tendril uh, surrounding this woman and now I'm gonna go to the cleanup the cleanup line was done by uh, a freelancer I have working for me by the name of uh, Jackson Ray and uh, he does really good work And this is what a cleaned up shot looks like now Um, you might notice that the girl has no eyes, and that's because I uh, actually add the eyes later uh, to keep the eyes consistent. So let me show you the next phase, which has the eyes and uh, some water. And see, now you'll see the eyes in place. Now for the next phase, I pass this off to one of my color artists, Chris Nyosi, and you will see the great color job he did. and play it one more time. Now the water needed to be cleaned up so I went in there and came up with a water effect. It's all hand drawn. And the uh, program that um, I'm showing you this in is Flash. I know it's not, it doesn't look like Flash 100% because it's cropped in but it is flash and all the animation is uh, hand drawn using uh, Wacom Cintiq tablets um, and other Wacom devices so after I finished this part the next phase was to figure out the backgrounds all the backgrounds in my film are uh, CG and they were all done using the program Blender which I'll show you now uh, Blender is an open source 3D application that you can just download for free uh, there's a few books out there and the look that I'm going for is uh, basically how video games are done where you take an effect and you you, you take your mats and you bat you, your maps and you bat, bake them into the uh, the structures so I would render one of the faces in this uh, scene and then uh, bring it into Photoshop paint it and then re-import it and the final animation it has basically no lights it's all uh, fake lighting so this is on the lower right is what the scene looks like let me see if I can rotate a little bit actually let me zoom out I have a lot of programs open right now so my computer is not exceedingly happy right now but you can see how the shot is made but when I move it around So after that phase, then I uh, position the cameras, as you can see in the upper right up here. And this is the shot that's taken. It's a still, so I don't really need to animate or move the camera or anything. And then I bring all the pieces into um, After Effects. Uh, how I got the pieces out of Flash is I do uh, PNG sequences, and I use basically multiple layers for each layer of the animation. So, whoops, that's my desktop. Uh, the first step is bring in the initial animation, which is of the girl, you obviously, uh, my computer needs to spin up. And you'll see the animation of the water surrounding her. And then under that, I have the water, which has, uh, I've broken into two pieces. One is blurred, as you'll see, and the other one is uh, not blurred. And that's kind of give a, a sense of depth in the shot. And then what I do is then I bring in the background. 
and the background is all blurred uh, also to give the shot some depth and uh, the next part is I start to add in the effects so I add in a little bit of yellow which is basically just a shape with a blur on it or a feather and then I added something for the trash can in the lower corner over here and what I just turned on there um, I actually don't know what that does but I think it does something later then I darken out the shot then add a, a brighter light from above since she's outside and then um, at the end I add an adjustment layer which is consistent amongst all the shots to give it more um, more richness and then I baked, I put that shot, pre-compose into another shot that then I add grain to and then I uh, add a uh, sort of a, a haze to, to it kind of just softens the shot a bit and that's it, that's how I create a shot from beginning to end uh, I hope to do this again soon uh, hopefully in the next few weeks and come back and uh, enjoy it and I hope you uh, enjoy my film when you get a chance to see it Thanks, good night.